survive gardening, how to create compost. Compost can be used to improve the quality of your soil. Your compost will add nutrients and organic matter to your soil, helping your crops grow better. The ideal compost pile size is 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. The minimum suggested size is 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. Smaller compost piles are slow to decompose. Any day is a good day to start your compost pile, but the best time to start is in the rainy season. The rainy season will mean there is plenty of green vegetation available. Plant material provides a carbon source. Animal manure or legume plants provide a source of nitrogen. Water Oxygen, warm temperatures, pressure provided by the weight of the soil, and microorganisms are needed to make compost. Start the compost bar by creating a 15 to 20 centimeter deep foundation layer. In order to create this layer, you can use coarse materials like maize stalks, maize cobs, or small sized branches. The foundation layer allows air to enter the compost pile. You will need a layer that will keep in the fine materials from going into the foundation layer. To do this, place banana leaves, cabbage leaves or paper over the foundation layer. Next, you will need to add 25 cm of vegetation. This can include plant material such as green vegetation, dried grass, leaves or anything that grows. We call this the carbon source. Once you have applied these plant materials, then you will need to water it using a sprinkler can or other water container. You will then need to add 5 cm of animal manure or legume plants such as beans or peas. This layer will provide nitrogen that serves as the fuel that gets the bacteria action going and starts the decomposition process. Next, add 5 cm of soil to provide weight, pressure, and source of microorganism to the compost pile. You can also use termite mold soil. Adding a layer of kitchen scraps, ashes, or eggshells will further enhance the bacterial action in the compost heap. Do not use animal parts, blood, or animal fat in your compost pile as they will attract rodents and other animals. Always water each new layer that you add to the compost pile. Continue adding alternating layers of plant material and animal manure followed by a layer of soil on top until the pile reaches the desired height. Complete the compost heap by watering and adding a layer of mulch, such as grass clippings or maize stalks. You should dig a trench around the base of your compost pile so that excess water can drain without carrying nutrients away from the pile. The middle of the compost heap is where the decomposition begins and is where the first compost will be ready to harvest. The compost pile will naturally heat up to 65 degrees Celsius at the middle of the pile. 
to see if decomposition is happening insert a small tree branch or steel rod in the center of the pile for a few minutes. When the branch is removed, if decomposition is happening, the stick will be warm to the touch. The decomposition rate is affected by temperature, moisture, size and type of vegetation and how often the power is mixed or turned. If you keep the power moist, decomposition will happen faster. If it does not rain, you should water your compost pile once a week. Chopping or shredding plant material speeds up decomposition. Turning and mixing the compost pile once per week can result in mature compost in six weeks to two months. The more you turn the pile, the quicker it will decompose. The easiest way to turn the compost pile is to move the pile next to its original location, placing the outer less decomposed material of the pile to the inside and leaving the more decomposed material to the outside. Mature compost is dark brown or black with a crumbly structure and a sweet smell. If you choose not to turn or mix your compost pile, it will form manure compost in six months to one year. Compost can be stored without losing nutrient value. Keep the compost moisture level low. Cover the pile with mulch or other material. Not only will compost increase your yield, if you have extra compost, it can be sought as a source of income. When plants grow, they remove nutrients from the soil. Using the compost you have made returns nutrients to the soil, resulting in increased plant production.